we've got the juniors with us this year, which I think I found personally very entertaining and uh, great to watch. And it's great to see the, the young blood coming through. Which is, uh, <laughs> without further <laughs> without further ado, I'll go on with the the, the presentation for the juniors. The first lady in the juniors is Lindsay Henderson along with Tracy Rose We pause, we pause. Thank you. <laughs> overall, first overall was uh, J7, Michael Dickey and Ewan Duncan. <laughs> we pause. Marchbox and Mark McCullough. <laughs> <laughs> Reposes, Mike, Mark behind. Come on, Mark.
I'm here at, at the end of the Charter Hall stages with the one, two, and three co-drivers. Um, first of all, Howard Patterson. Um, I'd just like to hear your views on the day. Well, we won it, so it went really well. <laughs> end of story. No, we didn't crash, which was great. Uh, it went very, very well. It was interesting because uh, there was quite a bit of grip at first and it became more and more slippery. So every time you went out, you're never quite sure what was going to happen. So you had to be very aware of what the surface changes were. Uh, but it ran, went very well for us. We can't complain. One, one chicane and one puncher. So that was a good day for us. And Mark, you were second up. Uh, how was your day? It was absolutely brilliant. Harry drove a sensible head for such a young guy. He took a really steady first stage just to get his feet and then after that he's just built his pace up. Um, had a really great battle with uh, Mikey and Ewan all day and it couldn't have been any closer. Two seconds going into the last stage and we actually equalled each other's time in the last stage. So let's just hope the rest of the years like that. It'll be great fun. And Ewan, you were third. Mikey, how did the day go for you? Yeah, it was really good. I'm very impressed with Mikey's performance. Uh, nice and steady in the morning. Learned the learnt the the venue and what the car could do. Um, and then, as Mark says, similarly, we just progressed, got faster until the in the final stage. I don't think there's any quicker we could have went. We, he was doing everything that I'd recommended he did, and it just shows that uh, Mikey and Harry got exactly the same time in the last stage. So they've, you know, it's good that there's a close competition there. It was a, a good fun day out. So here we are at the end of the Charter Hall stages with the winning drivers of the very first Junior 1000 ECOS Challenge event. Um, first car up is Alexander Vassilou who has joined us from Corbridge in Northumberland. Um, so Alexander, just give us a little bit of insight into getting up to today, where you, what you've done till you got to today. Well, I did Anglesey two weeks ago and finished ninth there. Um, after only three hours running in the car. Uh, I've got to thank Chris and the team very much because they did loads loads of work on the car. I mean, and especially the co-driver Howard, uh, who who's done a lot for <laughs> who's done a lot for the for the team. Yeah, as he says, a real lot. And yeah, that's all, that's all. <laughs> and how did the day go for you, Alexander? You were obviously going pretty well out there but do you want to just give us in your words how the day went for you it went well i was a bit worried when i saw the water in the morning um and you even managed to bring out the sun so it was good well thank you very much alexander and now second placed was harry marchbank um in his nice orange micra harry you just give us a bit of bring us up to speed with getting up to today and what you've been doing up to today. Well, we've had to build the car and then just had a small run before Charter Hall, um, but it's, we've had to spend a lot of time in this and it's worked out to be okay. 
I'd like to thank Peter from Thornhill Inn for sponsoring my tyres. Uh, he's great, he all, he's also servicing for me, he's brilliant. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, Taunt Marchbank for building my car. Uh, he's made a fantastic job it also. And how did the day go for you today? Aye, from brilliant today. Um, we just taken it slowly in the morning, got used to the car. Uh, just made, sh made sure we got around as the day went on. Mark gave me a bit more encouragement and just made sure I got around. And turned out to be good in the end. What about the last, last couple of stages between yourself and Mikey? It was really close between me and Mikey. Uh, I taken four out of them in the second last stage. I was two seconds down of them, down and I'm going into the fifth stage, and uh, taken four seconds out of them, and that taken me two seconds into the lead. And then going into the last stage, it took exactly the same time. So, brilliant. And Mikey Dickey, you were third today. Very close battle um, with Harry. Uh, went down to the wire. Um, you want to just tell us a little bit about? What you've done getting up to today? Uh, well, we bought the car in December and been working on it through the winter. And uh, we were at Knock Hill last week with the car. Got a good bit of training there. And then today, just came here trying to get the car around and then it ended up being a good result. And how did the day go for you? Uh, the last couple of stages were tricky. We wouldn't really have got around it without Ewan. Um, there was a good battle out there between me, Harry and Alexander. So, it was really good. Thank you very much. You're three champions in our eyes. And we look forward to the next coming together. Thank you very much, lads.